Is there a criteria that could be used to induce spontaneous remission for any disorder? I believe so. Let me explain. Today, it is common to believe that stress aggravates almost any condition. And if stress is recognized as such a common factor in all illness, I want to point out that perhaps stress plays a far greater role in health than mere agitator. I propose that stress is a key. It's a key that unlocks the immune system to purposely allow a stress-related symptom in the first place. Now, if a type of stress being present can purposely bring a, a particular symptom, then this may be the particular reason why people doing the same physical activity don't always grow the same symptoms. Now, obviously, everybody's a different life, and they're stressed by different things, they have different purposes. But individually, they're simply not bothered by the same issues. So yes, this is starting to mean that symptoms have a reason, and, and that we're not just vulnerable to broken parts. Uh, we're, we're not just like a, a disposable lighter. I know that I'm treading on a, a physical causal properties of belief, but um, the, the electric light wasn't discovered in the pursuit of candle making either. This potential doesn't replace medicine or, or challenge it, um, but our mechanical efforts to heal have been void of a spiritual component, a purposeful component, for far too long. To evolve we really must gather all the wisdom we've ever known and look beyond current plateaus. I mean, I would see this as an allied component to medicine. So we had to look beyond current plateaus to recognize that there's more going on than just broken body parts. Which stress is causing which disorder? And why does it affect us individually? Now, these are million-dollar questions that I've, I've attacked. But for over two decades, I have made it my life's work to dig deeply into the why, into the purpose of life, into the reason for health. I want to discover why certain stresses come to one person and not another. And, of course, what stressors are related to which disorders. This may sound like a lofty uh, and, and maybe even an unattainable goal to you, but I have made profound advances in answering these questions. I, I have a, found a great deal of logic and reason in metaphysics to have a leg up on these elusive answers. Life has purpose. And, and through mathematics, not intuition, it's knowable. Health has reason, and this is logically understandable too. Now, both are definable in a grounded way. And I've been using this research in helping clients overcome struggles with life and health for many years, over two decades now. So most importantly, I've found that if we can resolve and overcome the original reason that a struggle or an illness has visited our life, we can trigger reason and purpose for the immune system to kick back in, to ramp up, and to heal the condition. Uh, it's, it's amazing, but this actually may be that criteria behind spontaneous remission of any disorder. Now, I launched biosymbiology.com as an easy public access to my research and especially as a resource for holistic practitioners. This is a powerful tool. It's kind of like a compass to be used in seeking uh, the original stress in a person's stress history that, that's causing a disorder. It is the most detailed research 
on a meaningful role uh, of, of health, that health plays in our life. And it's as both a, an intelligent guide for life circumstances that are current and a feedback on the life decisions that we've already been making. Now, biosymbiology brings the depth of a new science studying this wisdom in such detail that has never been available to practitioners before. And it's all coming back to my very personal concern with how people are suffering in this life. And I believe that no one should be suffering, and certainly not suffering endlessly without discovering the meaning and purpose of struggle and disorder in their lives. Because it is really that meaning and that purpose that is the key to ending the struggle, to recovering good health, and even becoming successful in our business, in our achievement of our goals. This is the personal knowledge that is the power to positively transform our life. Now, whether you access written wisdom at biosymbology.com or whether you'd like to explore one-on-one -on -one counsel with me in my office or, or via Skype sessions, uh, I provide this valuable information uh, to my clients every day. It is already transforming people's lives. I, I invite you to contact me through biosymbology.com to learn this value for yourself. I look forward to talking with you soon.